switched from going for the submission entries and instead elected to come up in the top position. Yeah, well, I think it was more like, you know, Tekken coming down. They're not for open. Nice guillotine attempt. I don't think because of the, the rule, uh, I don't think they're going to really care so much about switching, switching positions. Yeah, very important to note that this is submission only. So, no points for sweeps, no points for takedowns, no points for any kind of positional control because the name of the game here at Who's Number One is Submission. And these 15-minute matches give the guys, look at this, stepping oh, over the top, nice Bobo going for the triangle here, tack it on a triangle. Beautiful. He needs to adjust. Uh, nice defense. Has extension on the arm as well, hard to see from this angle what he's got, but... He got it. He's looking switched. on the wrong side triangle now, still an arm trapped oh, for Jason yeah. Rao. He had to do that in that, in that position, otherwise he was going to lose it. Uh, his head is kind of coming out a little bit now. He fixed it. Oh, got a Kimura, Kimura here as well. And it. there is the finish. Tackett gets the Beautiful. tap via Kimura arm lock from inside the locked on triangle. Our first submission of the night here at who's number one. Oh, that was beautiful. He got that on the hook and deep half guard is straight to the triangle. Our Ladies referee, uh, our referee Gabriel Martinez William. raises the hand of the winner, William Tackett. <laughs> a couple of things we know about uh, Roberto, of course, that he's just, he has an endless gas tank and uh, that he has been extremely active this year. You know, he's actually had 27 matches this year as a black belt, with 23 of those coming since May this year. I think he's by far the most active competitor this year. And look at some of the guys that he's fought. He's fought both of the Rotolo brothers. He's fought Roberto Cyborg. He's fought Lucas Hulk. He's fought Nick Rodriguez. He's fought some of the toughest guys in the world. And all of this in around about nine or ten months as a black belt. That's a hell of a way to start your black belt he career. He fought the best of the best nowadays in this year. Oh. Leg entry here from Jones. Beautiful. Now this is deep. This is dangerous. That's a problem. Oh. But look at the cover uh, recovery from Jimenez. Nice super hold. Jimenez abling to get out of that position. Now of course, he's, it he's is no secret. He's getting himself into trouble. He needs to, to be more aware of that. Well, we have talked about this a lot, that we feel that Roberto has something of a weakness for the leg locks, uh, and Craig is certainly very aware of that. That's a good angle for Craig. Definitely a lot deeper now on this position. Way deeper. Whether Roberto has developed the answers for these positions is really, this is going to be the test, because he's done well against some grapplers who are noted leg lockers, and he's been caught by others. So Craig is pretty much one of the best guys in the world uh, in this position, he's and he's it. going on the inside heel hook. He, he has it. He has it. There it is. Verbal submission. Craig Jones gets the finish here in two and a half minutes. The Rustam, he's so technical. You know, it's unbelievable. Uh, he's one of the most seasoned fighters on ADCC. Everyone hates fighting him. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I fought him myself, I think, three times. Uh, but you know the difference, Shanji, in the way that Rustam will wrestle? Of course, he's going to wrestle from his feet, and he's going to wrestle you down. Whereas yeah. Gordon wrestles up from bottom to wrestle you down. Those yeah. are angles that traditional yeah. wrestlers will not attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like what's happening there. I could see a butterfly sweep happening. But Mateus is getting a good angle. Going for his patented shoulder crunch position right here. We did a great breakdown of this. Ricardo Andolia, our resident black belt, analyzed this position well, the options but, that Gordon has, good, but... Uh, don't give up the top. Yeah, he's going to stay on the top. Uh, Using it for a leg entanglement. He's got yes, a straight he ankle lock here now. Gordon in on the legs. This is one of the main parts that he has from that shoulder crunch position. He goes to either the triangle or he goes to the leg entanglement. Uh, and here, he heel hook, heel hook. A yeah, uh, little yeah, confusion yeah. over whether the position was done. Gordon very nicely did not smash the position on. Matthias' his hand was hovering, but it was checkmate. The match over by way of heel hook. Around about 27 minutes into the match, and your winner is Gordon Ryan. <laughs> head to head right here on the center of the Who's number one stage. 20 years of age is Elizabeth Clay, born in Katy, Texas, but living in Alaska, Ooh. representing Aries Jiu-Jitsu. Change it up a little bit, a little rubber guard action there. Now, we mentioned about how she does have many submission wins by Gogo Plata, a mm. former gymnast. Clay oh. is incredibly flexible, yeah. as we can see right here. Yeah, Maggie's doing a good job just keeping the head near 
near Elizabeth. Now she's creating some space, a little uh, easy. That was easy. Omoplata set up. He's going for the. She's going for the go-go. She's got the foot in front of the oh, face. I can't see from this angle, but it's. Looks like she may have that hook uh, underneath she can the get chin. Slammed. That is a legitimate uh, defense here at who's number one. It is possible to is, score and also there. to escape via slams, but she that could potentially make it deeper. There. She seems in danger, I can see that. Hard to see from this angle if the foot is underneath the chin cleanly. There uh, it is. I got it. There it is. A slow burn on the choke, but the Google Plat to finish for Elizabeth Clay here at who's number one. Man, you called it, man. The, the Google Plat was there. Your winner by Google Plata. Elizabeth Clay. Yeah, that was not easy. Clay had to be patient in her strategy. She had to change it up a little bit, going from the seated guard to the closed guard to be able to get that entry. That has to be uh, confidence inspiring there, that, that sequence from Bame. You know, he got out of trouble. Man, not many people can claim to have entered, however briefly, into that leg lock danger with Gordon Ryan and escape. So, yeah, moral victory, that's for sure. Gordon right back on it though, and weighing on Kyle. And I just feel like, there we go, there's another entry into that leg drag position. Good footwork this time from, from Kyle Bain. Kyle, but a back attack, back attack. Wow. Almost on the arm, what on the arm bar, on the arm bar here. Fantastic work from Gordon Ryan, locking on the triangle here. This could be it. We could see the match end at this point. Just over 12 minutes in. Gordon Ryan using the scramble. We thought he was going to go for the armbar. Put it onto the triangle. Side armbar. Here it comes. Extending the arm. Kyle Bain just about managing to keep his elbow in. But that looks dangerous pressure on the shoulder. There it is. There's the finish. Gordon Ryan wins via, let's call it, modified triangle with a little bit of a shoulder lock mixed in for good measure. Looks almost like just a mirror lock. Almost kind of. The key.